Some of you may ask the question, what is the Orange Mound to Africa initiative? Only if you understand the history and the significance of Orange Mound can you understand our Orange Mound to Africa initiative. The first neighborhood in America built for African Americans by African Americans emerged Orange Mound today is reminiscent to the movie Color Purple, where Mr. Toe Seeley, you're poor, you're black, and you're ugly, and Seeley replied, I'm poor, black, I might even be ugly, but dear God, I'm here. I'm after 128 years, we are still here. Some of us in Orange Mound are poor, most of us are black, and many today call Orange Mound ugly, but dear God, we are here. After Orange Mound was established on August 28, 1963, people in America and around the world heard a young preacher tell the world about a dream he had. On April 4th, 1968, 78 years after the establishment of Orange Mound, that young man got killed in Memphis 50 years ago. On November 4th, 2008, a young man became the first African American president of the United States saying, yes we can. That young man wrote about the dreams of his father and he wrote about the audacity of hope. The spirit of yes we can, the dreams of a father, and the audacity of hope comes back and is interrelated to Orange Mound. It was on May 13th, 1959, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in the SCLC was hosting an African Freedom Dinner for the African named Tom Emboya. Dr. King said on this day, quote, our struggle is not an isolated struggle. King insisted, we are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality. Before Dr. King told the world about a dream he had, or Barack Obama told us, about the dreams of his father or the audacity of hope or him saying yes we can african americans in orange mound had built the first community in america for blacks by blacks we in orange mound have a dream and we have the audacity of hope we in orange mound who carry the history of building the first community for, for blacks by blacks, we build on the first community of humanity and the world via our picking up the gauntlet of Dr. King and taking that gauntlet to Africa. From Orange Mound, we have a dream. Yes, we can. And we have the hope of audacity. In 1953, an organization was formed in America called ACOR or American Committee on Africa. The group's mission was to fight for the liberation of Africa. In 1956, a corps sponsored a 26-year-old African to come from a place called British East Africa that later became known as Kenya. This young man's name was Tom Mboya. Tom Mboya is the most influential African to impact American culture, history, and politics than any African in history. Without an Emboya, there would never have been an Obama. The Orange Mound to Africa initiative notes, Orange Mound as the first community in America to acknowledge the work of Tom Emboya and its significance and contribution to American culture, history, and politics. 
noting that Tarman Boy is the most significant African and Af American history and Dr. Martin Luther King is the most significant African and American history, the Orange Mound to enough African to notes. We in Orange Mound, we propose not only the Tom and Boyer Dr. Martin Luther King culture and educational center to be built in Nairobi, Kenya, we propose the idea of a homecoming celebration in Nairobi, Kenya, whereas African Americans are honored for the first time in history with a family celebration via Kenya honoring its African family with a formal state reception. While President Barack Obama Jr., whose father is from Kenya, was honored by Kenya via a former state reception, we African Americans known uh, we Africans in America, known as African Americans, are no less family to Africa than President Barack Obama Jr. While Kenya is the birthplace of humanity, the Orange Mountain Africa Initiative promotes the idea that while Kenya is the birthplace of humanity and the world can join us via a celebration in Kenya, whereas we honor the African and the African American family in Kenya in 2026. The picture above shows us in Kenya with the Department of Foreign Affairs. In regards to our Orange Mound to Africa initiative, we are working to get Orange Mound honored in Kasumu, Kenya, the third largest city in Kenya and the home of Academy Award winner Lapita Nango, who is also the star in the Black Panther movie. Her father, Peter Nango, came to Memphis, whereas the first place he visited was Orange Mound, whereas we honored Kenya's Tommen Warrior. The first place he came was in Orange Mound, and he's coming back to Orange Mound. We are working with the governor at developing cultural diplomacy whereas part of the movie Rock and Roll A Black Legacy will be filmed in Kenya whereas Kenyans and Americans will work together on producing a movie and creating cultural diplomacy. Governor Nango promised to come back and he'll bring with him his lovely daughter Academy Award winner Lapita Nango and they will certainly visit the Orange Mound, the place where Orange Mound is the sister city of Kasumu, Kenya.